Steven Spielberg, who is best known as legendary director, producer, and screenwriter, he is considered one of the founding pioneers of the new Hollywood era, and one of the most popular directors and producers in film history. He has had a massive compound in the Pacific Palisades since 1989, during his astonishing career, Steven Spielberg's films have made him a billionaire, which have been able to snag him some pretty impressive real estate. Along with his massive compound, the director also owns a $184 million yacht. We'll take a look at Spielberg's $17 million home that comes complete with a vineyard overlooking the Pacific Ocean in his backyard. That's right, Spielberg has his own vineyard. Like his films, the extravagant mansion is a thing of beauty. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Steven Spielberg's $3.7 billion fortune makes him the second richest celebrity on the planet, behind good buddy and fellow director-producer George Lucas, who's worth $6.5 billion. In this case, I think I'm all right with second place. Spielberg's first big break came in 1975 after his career skyrocketed with the success of Jaws. In 1975, Jaws became the first real blockbuster film after over 67% of Americans went to see it. For his own film, Steven frequently opts a relatively low upfront salary, let's say $10 million in exchange for back-end points on the gross revenue. One such deal for 1993's Jurassic Park resulted in $250 million payday for Steven Spielberg. Steve co-founded Amblin Entertainment and DreamWorks Pictures, where he has also served as a producer or executive producer for several successful film trilogies and later transitioned into producing several video games. Spielberg is one of the American film industry's most critically successful filmmakers. With praise for his directing talent and versatility, he has won the Academy Award for Best Director twice. Some of his films are amongst the highest grossing, while his total work makes him the highest grossing film director in history, which led him to his $3.7 billion net worth. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer. We're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. Now, 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. I need you guys to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos every day. We previously reported on Tristan Thompson and also Tiger Woods' new home, so if you want to, please go and check those out. If you like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications and follow me on Instagram at thatdoomitfly so we can chat and let me know whose house tour you wanna see in the comments down below. Let's get into this video. Spielberg also had a Malibu home which was sold in 2015 for a marvelous $26 million, although there are rumors that the estate sold for up to $35 million. The 7,200 square foot beach house features nine bedrooms, six bathrooms, one of which has its very own ocean view terrace, private massage room, and even a private library. The home also features a few other terraces, as you do a pool and a luxury home theater. The grounds also include a detached two bedroom guest house which occupies 150 feet of beach frontage which provides magnificent ocean views. Before selling the home in 2015, Steven and Kate rented out the property for $125,000 per month. Now, while there has not been an abundance of information on Spielberg's homes throughout the years, we managed to snag a few photos and descriptions of other properties owned by Steven. Steven Spielberg's house in New York is situated by Georgica Pond in East Hampton and sits across six acres of beautiful land overlooking a peaceful pond. This area is one of the most sought after spots in all of the Hamptons. The Spielberg residence, known as Kell Barn, is complete with a luxury guest house, which was designed by the well-known architect, Charles Guathme. The estate also features a large outdoor pool and plenty of space for family and friends to stay for a summer getaway. Celebrities and stars alike seem to flock to Naples for its sandy white beaches, calm atmosphere, and wealthy community. So of course, Steven Spielberg has a home here too. Unfortunately, there's not a great deal to report about this particular home, although we do know that it is a large compound situated in a private area of the town. Naturally, like a director, Steven Spielberg's current house is located in the heart of Los Angeles. I mean, where else would a Hollywood director live? Spielberg immediately fell in love with the place back in 1989, claiming he was attracted to the views of LA International Airport, Malibu, and Will Rogers Park. He claimed it was like going to Hawaii and finding the perfect cove. At the time, Spielberg purchased the Spanish Mediterranean style property for 6.5 million. He essentially went back to square one, stripping and redoing the whole place from top to bottom. During the renovation process, he actually managed to double the space, taking it from 10,000 to 20,000 square feet. Handyman Steve, huh? Currently, the abode features five bedrooms and six bathrooms, a Hobbit-inspired room, a vineyard overlooking the beautiful Pacific Ocean, and of course, a pool and terrace. The home spreads across three and a half acres. The outside gives off a Mediterranean ambience, but the inside is even fancier. The symmetrically carved front doors, which came with the house, open into an extravagant foyer with a spiraling stucco staircase. 
illuminated by a Tiffany lamp, a Gustav Stickley side table. The furnishings inside the foyer complement Spielberg's love of arts and crafts. The rooms on either side of the foyer are both spacious and intimate, and connected to a series of curves and arches made of the most lavish Honduras mahogany. This is found everywhere throughout the house, from the front gate to the back porch railing, and on numerous doors, windows, and moldings. While the luxurious living room floor is made of 100-year-old cycled pine, light blue walls with painted white bookcases and moldings enhance the most feminine room of the house. One of the surprise features includes a swinging panel that opens to a secret staircase, which leads to the master bedroom. On the opposite side of the living room is an oval-shaped formal dining room with curved pocket doors. Adjacent to the dining room is the kitchen and family room, which again displays the most abundant use of woods. The floors are 100 year old pine as in the living room. The pine kitchen cabinets are designed with multifunctional drawers. Probably the coolest room in the house is the Hobbit room. The room features mushroom shaped windows, moldings and fireplace designed for family gatherings. The Hobbit room boasts a soda fountain and a retractable television screen hidden in the alcove. Outside the abode is a landscape garden surrounded by a mahogany picketed fence. Santa Fe style mahogany beams that overhang the second floor balcony. The walls are stucco but are scattered with many and large windows. There are also beveled glass railings on both the lower and upper terraces. Also featured is a freestanding bungalow that contains Spielberg's study and the screening room. The main floor has the expected desks, computer, and film editing table. But above is a loft suitable for those who want to snag a cat nap. And below in the basement is a neon lit playroom sporting video games. A window looks upward and out toward the sloping backyard to a swimming pool and tennis court. The bedroom suites are a thing of beauty. The master bedroom includes its own private kitchen. French doors open to a porch overlooking the Pacific. The furnishings include some wicker pieces and the artwork are mostly family photos and memorabilia. The master bath is illuminated by indirect lamps and a skylight. The arcs of the bathtub and fireplace lay against the sweeping curve of the sink, which is topped by a curved aquarium filled with 14,000 gallons of water. The abode also features a solarium which contains a bar, 12 foot high windows, wicker armchairs, and an array of orchids. Now being the wine connoisseur that Spielberg is back in 2013, Steven added his own vineyard to his 45,000 square foot property in the Pacific Palisades area. The vineyard was installed facing the Pacific Ocean in the picturesque Santa Monica Mountains. If having your own vineyard wasn't enough, Steven upgraded to a $184 million yacht. And no, we checked, he does not park it at his mansion. He calls his bad boy the Seven Seas, and it is packed with amenities. An infinity pool, a 15 foot glass movie screen, a helicopter pad, gym, spa, and massage room are just a few of the luxuries that are reported on board. As for accommodations, there's one master suite, two VIP suites, two double bed cabins, and one cabin with a twin bed. In total, the yacht can sleep 12. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We gotta take a quick look at Steven Spielberg's homes and that impressive vineyard overlooking the Pacific Ocean, a $184 million yacht. <laughs> After seeing that fancy little boat he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you expected out of a billionaire? Personally, if I had a yacht like that, I think I would be throwing a few parties. Out of Spielberg's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd love it if you guys would subscribe and hit the notification button, and I'll see you guys next video.